A voice at the other end said, Dr. Land would like to see you in his office this afternoon. I'm Ed Judice, and I worked back in the 70s for Polaroid Corporation as a contract photographer. I turned in a photograph that was so admired that Dr. Land wanted it in every camera store in America. In 1972, I visited Polaroid in Cambridge. I just asked to speak to the design department and, and they granted me an interview. And about two months later, I got a call. They told me that a new camera had been invented, the SX-70 camera. Woo! The first time I used it, I almost couldn't figure out how to open it. It's got a tricky little method of gripping the, the eyepiece and pulling it apart. But once it was opened, it set itself and became a fantastic reflex camera. And now, a compact, folding, electronically controlled, motor-driven, single-lens reflex camera capable of focusing from infinity down to 10 inches has been developed to exploit integral self-processing film units. They wanted me and many other photographers to shoot anything I wanted. One of the pictures was a five-year-old girl sitting on the knee of a grandfatherly man. His name was Russ and the little girl's name was Ruth Ellen. And they were a perfect team. The word came down that Dr. Land wanted an original of that photograph in every camera store in America. I got a telephone call to come back to Cambridge where I was presented with this enormous, <laughs> enormous task of producing 12,000 original SX-70 photographs of Ruth Ellen and Russ. How can we ask a five-year-old girl to sit through hours of smiles because every picture had to be a smile, had to be a, an authentic looking moment. I decided to build a little rig that would hold four SX-70 cameras and use four cable releases to fire them simultaneously. So I had a teenage girl, a local neighbor, help me. She and I bantered with the models to keep them smiling and happy. We gave them frequent breaks. And in one day, we were able to produce 1,500 images. And it, it worked. And the 12,000 were packed in boxes and brought back to Polaroid. I have one single photograph, original photograph from that shoot. And the picture I have is a picture that I shot probably on the last day where Ruth Ellen was waving her hands and I wrote down on the picture what she said, I can't take this anymore. My name is Ruth Ellen Barak. I live in Lee, Massachusetts. I am very excited. <laughs> Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Bring Good. Thank you. Was your father state trooper? Yes. That's yeah. all I need. Incredible. Well, should we get some food? Sure. Yeah. 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 When I was a child and I was sitting on that adult's lap, I knew that I had a job to do and a responsibility, and he made it fun. So I often think about how he helped me be there for so many photographs and how he kept the work engaging and interesting. He was always kind of showing me what cameras did and kind of explaining. You know, as a kid, I didn't really understand it completely, but as I got older, I thought that's pretty neat that 
um, maybe I'm in someone's old bureau drawer somewhere and they don't know who I am. Later on, I discovered that so many people were using the camera, shooting with the camera, and that the cameras could have a second life by virtue of the fact that Brooklyn Film Camera repairs and restores the SX-70.